So in this trip, we left Lund here, and we've been steaming along here for a half hour or so. Just going around this island. You can see we're going to go up here and around the tip of Quadra Island to Campbell River. Now coming around this tip, the current really flows through here, so we got to time ourselves when the tide is is right when it's not flowing fast either direction so that we can make it through there and into uh, Discovery Marina. So what we're going to do is to wait out the time is we're going to go check out this little island called Middle Natch right here. Middle Natch Island Nature Provincial Park. So there's always lots of birds. It's like a bird colonies along there. Sometimes we'll see uh, sea lions as well, so we're just going to cruise around there for a while, maybe even anchor for a half hour or an hour before we proceed on, so we'll give you some footage of that. So far it's kind of a cloudy day. Sun peeks through once in a while, a little bit of blue sky here and there. But overall it's been pretty cloudy. Ocean's pretty good for boating though, it's pretty flat, not much rolling or anything and we're making good time. But uh, hopefully the sun will come up and it won't look so uh, drab as it does right now. You can see off in this direction, back in the coast mountains there, see those really nice peaks. Well that in there is Desolation Sound Provincial Marine Park which is beautiful. We'll probably be going into that maybe in uh, September once the crowds have gone away and doing some anchoring in there, so stay tuned for that. So this is Middle Natch Island. I have a nature sanctuary. Usually on this side we can see some sea lions, but nothing here today. Kind of a pretty island when you get up close, very rocky, but has quite a bit of plant life on it. And of course, all the birds like to hang out here. We've been listening to the VHF radio. There's a lot of whale watching action going back that way. A little bit far away for us to get to, but there's some uh, big, couple big orcas and three, I think three humpbacks. Whale watchers are having fun showing people the whales. But we're just going to go around the other side of this island, see if there's any more uh, bird life or maybe some sea lions. bit of rolling seas here makes it hard to stabilize the camera but this is a really pretty spot see up there I believe they're cormorants up there hanging out and we have some uh, sea lions in the water maybe down here I can catch it the fin out to keep the camera straight with all this rolling going on.
middle notch is always a treat to see. We went around it twice and looked at all the birds and sea lions. The views today are just spectacular. It's one of the reasons we love it up here around Campbell River. You look across to the coast mountains there. Desolation sound. Just gorgeous. Now we're steaming towards Campbell River. Probably about an hour or so till we dock Discovery Harbor Marina. Well, we're in the home stretch now. Coming up on Cape Mudge at the end of Quadra Island. Cape Mudge Lighthouse right there. Start going up Discovery Passage. Got Campbell River on our left here. Just have to go up here a ways and pull into our marina. Woo! Gotta watch out for the quadra ferries here. And it's gonna slow down and let it go by. So there we go, our maiden voyage comes to a conclusion in Campbell River, and they even threw a fireworks show for us. <laughs> Not actually, this is the July 1st fireworks. We actually went down to the marina and watched it. It was just a, just past the breakwater there, good show. So wishing everybody a happy Canada Day yesterday, and to all my friends in the US, uh, a few more days you guys get to celebrate your big July 4th. So. Hope you have a good time there. Anyway, uh, it was a successful trip. Boat performed well and everything. So now we're in Campbell River. Uh, we've booked the marina here for a month. Probably do some short trips here and there, but I got some projects to do with the boat. But first thing I'll be doing some uh, projects with the RV that have kind of neglected. So you'll see some videos, RV kind of project videos coming up. And then at the end of uh, July, we'll probably take the RV and truck and put it in storage, um, come back to Campbell River, grab the boat, and then we'll be out for uh, boating for a few months before we have to leave with the RV come uh, winter time. So I hope you stay tuned to the channel. There'll be some interesting projects on, on the boat that are kind of RV related too. I'm gonna be uh, changing the inverter, it came with a 2000 watt, Modif sine wave modified modified sine wave inverter and it's about 13 years old and kind of is acting up so I'm going to put a new one of those in there a new inverter um, and doesn't really like the pump toilets got the old kind of pump toilets and with her back and arm strength it's kind of a hassle for her so I'm going to put in one that's an electric toilet at least in one of the two heads and uh, also I'm going to put in a, a different uh, AC input 
plug and cord and uh, one of the smart plugs just for safety reasons. So a couple projects already on tap for the boat there and uh, many more to come. We'll also give you, kind of clean up the boat and everything and we'll give you a tour of the boat from both our perspectives. Let Ann go through and show you the boat from her perspective and then I'll kind of get more into the nuts and bolts of it. Open up the, the engine the engine bay and give you a look at all the electrical in the engine and uh, stuff from my perspective. So I hope you stay tuned. Until next time, Ray from Love Your RV and Boat. Cheers, guys.